Hey guys, even here, the winner of Huddle Classic UK is Hadid Japan. Yes, as expected, he won once again. Samson Dauda was much closer this time around, but it still wasn't close enough. Hadi was definitely better, he won, he deserved his victory, and he officially made more money than Derek Lansford winning the Mr. Olympia. At the pre-judging, Hadi seemed a little bit flat and Samson seemed a little bit improved from the Arnold Ohio. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what these guys looked like at the finals. Did something change? Because I think a lot of things actually did change. We have some unexpected results, we're gonna take a look at that as well. So like I said, Hadi won and of course Samson was in that second spot. I think Samson did improve his conditioning, yeah, Hadi had to lift him once again. It was fun to see the way Hadi celebrates this victory and the way he treats others as well, but I wish he was like this when he loses too. You guys saw the way he behaved at the Mr. Olympia, he wasn't like this. He definitely wasn't like this towards Derek, and I don't know if he would be like this if Samson won this show. I would love to see this behavior when he loses as well as when he wins, but it is what it is. Now, let's check out the callouts. At the pre-judging, Akim Williams wasn't in this top 4 callout. James Hollinshead was. So I thought at the pre-judging, Akim was in 5th spot. But here, here he was definitely in 3rd, and I thought he was challenging Samson even. I mean, he looked sharper and harder than Samson. He definitely wasn't there in terms of development, like complete development, like especially lats, you know, back, but everything else, like he was very close to Samson, you know, muscularity wise, and conditioning was better if you ask me, and I think he was much better than John De La Rosa, we're gonna see that in a two-man callout as well. Now, as far as Hardy versus Samson, I thought it was closer than Ohio, but yeah, I was pretty sure Hardy was winning, because again, way more conditioned, as far as muscularity, like development, he's probably more complete, you know, he has a wider back, he has shredded glutes, and he's not really lacking in any muscle, you know, he's a shorter guy, but like, everything is big on him, he has a lot of muscle, and also now with his abdominal control, with his vacuums, he's not even lacking in the aesthetics department, so, yeah, even though Samson is like the taller guy, the more aesthetic, the more classic looking guy, it still was not enough, it definitely wasn't enough, and uh, yeah, Hadi deserved this victory. And for those of you who might think that Akeem could have beaten Samson, well, let's take a look at that too. In some poses, you could make a point for Akeem, especially side poses like this one, you know, conditioning, hardness, details, polish overall, but like in some other poses, it wasn't really close, like absent eyes. Even though Akeem, again, great conditioning in the legs especially, but just the overall flow and the shape of Samson's physique, it's just another level, so yeah, it wasn't really close, but again, muscularity and conditioning combination, you know, it was, it was a comparison for sure. This is a comparison that makes sense, again, I think Hadi was definitely flatter and smaller than those two weeks ago, and I think Samson was a little bit sharper, I think he sharpened up for the finals too, but no, it, it wasn't enough, it was closer, it was definitely a much closer battle than the Ohio, but, you know, it, it still wasn't enough. In order for Samson to actually challenge Hadi, he needs to come in peeled, like completely peeled. Even though Hadi's flaws were more noticeable, like his lag difference, look at the right lag here, it was definitely more noticeable because he was flatter, and Samson also controlled his midsection better here, and again, I think he was sharper, his posing was better, it still wasn't enough, you know, Hadi has that crazy detail, crazy depth of the separation, he looks rock hard, he literally looks like he was carved out of stone, like, he looks really, really shredded, and uh, Samson, yeah, in some poses, he looks comparable, I think his back poses were better at the finals, but still, still, once again, Hadi is just next level, uh, will Samson surpass him in the future? It is very possible, there is a potential for it, but, you know, we'll see, I guess it depends on which coach Samson hires, and whether he listens, whether he actually wants to do those 3 hours of cardio that Hadi is doing to actually get shredded, but still, this was a good package, I don't think he embarrassed himself, you know, he stood there proudly for his country, he competed in the UK, he battled, he battled hard, he tried his very best, he looked as good as he could for this moment in time, but again, if he wants to be the best in the world, he's gonna need that next level conditioning. 
So like I said, at the pre-judging, Akeem seemed to be placed 5th. We need to see the scorecards to see that for sure, but that's the way it seemed. So I thought there was no way he can climb up to place 3rd, even though he was definitely 3rd in the finals. Look at him. He was definitely beating John De La Rosa handily. It was a pretty easy win here. But if he was 5th at the pre-judging and 3rd at the finals, wouldn't that be 4th place in the end? Well, I guess not, because Akeem plays 3rd, John plays 4th, and James Hollingshead placed 5th. So it was definitely not the way it seemed at the pre-judging, they changed this drastically, I don't even know how is this even possible, because I mean here, Akeem was definitely beating John De La Rosa, even in the back poses, this was quite comparable, and those poses are like weakest poses for Akeem Williams, he's very bad in those two shots, uh, both a lat spread and back double bicep, but here next to John, it wasn't really that big of a difference, and his legs are much bigger, his glutes also, and also his conditioning is comparable, if not better, from the front, he has these crazy side shots, like side tricep and side chest, you know, he looks crazy in those, and again, like, he has so much thick muscle, it's crazy, the density of this guy, and like, the, the conditioning, the sharpness, it was, it was definitely third best physique in this show, but I don't know about the pre-judging, in the pre-judging, he seemed like he would be probably fourth, you know, not third, he wasn't better than John in pre-judging, he was maybe better than James, as I said in my pre-judging video, the way the judges positioned them, it seemed like Akeem was 5th, but I thought he could have placed ahead of James. You guys can remind me down below in the comment section, but was this a secret? That Akeem was coached by Chris Asito? I didn't know this. I don't remember Akeem making a post about this at any point, or hearing uh, Chris Asito talking about this. I had no idea that Asito was coaching Akeem, but he did a good job with him for sure when it comes to conditioning, this was definitely the most conditioned Akim, but for some reason they just can't bring it both days, Akim was definitely not as full at the pre-judging as he was here, he was conditioned as well, like super crispy for the pre-judging, maybe even more, but he wasn't full enough, they corrected the mistake for the finals, and apparently it was enough, but I don't even know how, because at the Ohio he was 7th at the pre-judging, and 4th at the finals, and then he ended up in 6th, and this time around, he went from 5th to 3rd, how, I have no idea, we're gonna see a scorecard, maybe at the pre-judging he wasn't 5th, maybe he actually was 3rd, but you know, it didn't look like that, he definitely wasn't, because he wasn't in the callout with John and James, he was in the callout with Antoine and Mohamed Shaban, but it is what it is, we're gonna see a scorecard tomorrow, and now we can take a look at the final callout, uh, again, Anton Voyant, James Collinshead, and Mohamed Shaban, so James Collinshead dropped down to 5th, even though it seemed like he might have been even 3rd or 4th, but no, he placed 5th, I don't like what he brought, honestly, like, it wasn't very good conditioning, it wasn't a great peak, I mean, what this guy is doing, like, he's experimenting, he's doing crazy stuff the last week, he was junk loading, front loading, and trying to dry out the last day, I don't know, it's crazy what he's doing, he needs a coach who's gonna tell him exactly what to do, and he needs to listen, like, these guys, I don't know, some of them are, like, really stubborn, like, not coachable, but it is what it is, I don't think he has, you know, that much more potential, if he had a great coach and a great pick, maybe he would have placed, like, one spot higher, something like that, but I don't see him ever winning an Arnold Classic, and I think his career is, like, at the tail end, uh, also, uh, Anton Wayant, this guy needs an off-season, and he needs to do deadlifts, because he needs bigger glutes and bigger back, I mean, I don't know what kind of training he needs to do, but that's what he needs to bring up, he needs an off-season, he needs to bring up his upper body, and as far as his lower body, like, hamstrings and quads and, and calves are good, but uh, he needs bigger glutes and, like, definitely bigger back, bigger arms, bigger chest, even though he weighs, like, 270 he still wasn't, you know, as big as uh, Muhammad Shaban, because he has big frame, like, he's a bigger man, but he doesn't pack as much muscle, and so Muhammad Shaban beat him, Anton was last place here, seventh, and Muhammad Shaban was sixth, I think Muhammad improved, I think Anton maybe improved as well, but I think Muhammad improved a lot more, and again, he's like a bigger bodybuilder, not literally bigger, he's probably weighing less, but I feel like he's packing more muscle on his frame, so there you go guys, that's the results, uh, Hadi Chopin once again wins, a great victory for Hadi, he's coming strong to the Mr. Olympia, if he repeats this kind of a shape, I mean especially from the Arnold Ohio, with the fullness and this conditioning, 
he has a very good chance to get his title back and to repeat what Jay Cutler did, the only guy who ever retrieved his Mr. Olympia title after losing it. But you can be sure that Derek is going to improve as well, so we'll see. Anyways, Hardy won, Samson second. You guys tell me what do you think about the results of this show. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more content like this, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.